Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Sheltered 2 where we are of course mourning the loss of Bernard Cupboard. Big bearded Bernard is no longer with us, it's all very very sad indeed. So yes, he fell in battle, the victim of the Church of Hope and also, I think it's fair to say, the victim of some very very fortunate critical hits against him. But yes, Bernard has fallen and the Keepers of the Tea, and I suppose Betty and Barbara in particular, are attempting to come to terms with this loss. So it looks like we are going to have to go and have a bit of a fun fight for the Church of Hope. I think that is now entirely unavoidable. We can't just let Bernard's death kind of you know, just happen and not take any action against those who killed him. So with that in mind, let's get people a little bit more combat ready. Now Betty, I think you are very very close to a dexterity of six. Let's have a quick check. Yes, you have dexterity of five, but you're halfway through sort of the XP required to get to dexterity of six. And when you get a dexterity of six, if we just go over here and filter that by weapons, as you can see, she will be able to use that pistol because to use a pistol, you need a required dexterity of six. And we've had that for ages. We've had that gun sat there for an awfully long time. So it'd be good to see somebody actually making use of this. And I think Betty would be very good for this kind of thing. So there we go. So first things first, let's get Betty down to the treadmill. In fact, no, she's very hungry. Okay, first things first, before the treadmill, uh, let's get Betty over to eat some food. Um, okay, do you know what, Betty? It's gonna be broccoli soup. Broccoli soup on the menu again. I know, I know, we'll try and mix the menu up a bit soon. But there we go, so quickly just, uh, quickly wolf that down. There we go, that's much better. Now you get over here and do some training on the treadmill, please. That's going to be very, very good indeed. And do you know what, whilst we're looking at this room, let's just select anybody, you just there, Go and rearrange the shelter. Uh, let's move the punch bag down to here. Let's move that down to here because this is our kind of training area. So, you know, you can do your brainy training over here. You can do your cardio training on the treadmill. And then you do your strength kind of, you know, hitty training over on the punch bag thing. And all the training things are down here in this little room. I think that is much better. I like that down there. So there we go. And that frees up a bit of room over here to put something else in. I'd like to get a planter in. Actually, I'd like to get a little planter set up down here. Could we do that? Maybe we could do that. However, however, hang on, back on track, back on track. So we're trying to get people ready for some fighting. I mean, you know, growing food is important for staying alive, but it doesn't help us with the whole fighting thing, does it? So who have we got now that nearly has a strength of six? Because if we have people with a strength of six, that means if we go and look again, go and look at weapons, they can use baseball bats because that requires a strength of six. Now, I don't know if we have anybody even remotely close to a strength of six. I mean, Barbara, no. Uh, William, ah, William actually has a strength of five. I mean, he's having a little kip right now, but that could be quite good. Sharon on three, Christopher on, ah, Christopher on four, but he's almost up to strength of five. And Betty's on three, but Betty's doing the whole sort of shooting thing. And then Barbara, no, do you know what? Do you know what, where are you? Chris, you go and sort this out. So you go and have a little bit of a, a little bit of a fight with the punch bag. You go and do that. So maybe we could get both Chris and Will there up to strength six. And they could both, you know, stand at the front, because now I understand that there's kind of, you know, positions are important with the whole sort of uh, combat thing. They could stand at the front with baseball bats. We could have Betty at the back firing a gun. And then if we could get somebody else up to, oh no, we haven't got another firearm. We haven't got another gun. We just put somebody else at the back with a baseball bat or some knuckle dust or something. But yeah, the kind of positioning is important. And it'd be nice if we had two people at the front of our sort of line of combat who had baseball bats. That would seem quite good. So yeah, let's get you doing that. So Chris can go over and do some training. Um, how are our plants looking whilst we're here? Uh, the plants, oh, there's no plants, ah, but there is a snare trap thing activated. Hang on a second, hang on. Um, right, Barbara, you go up and sort that out. So there you go, you go and harvest that, please. And then let's plant, what shall we plant? Oh, the agony of choice. Um, I mean, hang on, it's summer, isn't it? It's summertime. So could we grow things that require a little bit more temperature? Like for example, these tomatoes. Could we grow some tomatoes? I suppose we could. Or potatoes. We could grow some potatoes. 16 to 20. Oh, is it going to be a bit warm for that? Is it going to be a bit warm? We could use a planter. Hang on a second. Barbara is very good at this kind of stuff. Hang on, Barbara, go and do the harvesting of the stuff first. There we go. So you go and do that and do the harvesting. There we go. Wonderful. So we've got ourselves some animal fat and a bone and some meat. That's kind of what you'd expect. Um, okay, Barbara now needs the loop. Okay, it's fine. Go and use the fancy toilet though, Barbara, because of course we've got fancy toilets now. And Christopher has increased his strength, which is very good. Well done, Chris. Let's have a quick look at your skills, because now, oh, you've got two. You have two points available. Oh, that's very good. Um, how about you, yeah, let's get this. Let's get poison punch. 
So increase that. So what do you do? You deal 120% base damage and poison somebody. Okay, yeah, we'll have a bit of that. And it's less stamina to do as well. That's very handy. And then, I mean, what's that? The character gains plus five strength. Oh, no, that's a, that's a, a skill. It's not a permanent thing. You get They get strong, but then it kind of wears off after the next turn. Uh, okay, not so bothered about that. Imposing physique? I mean, if everybody had that, then all the targets might all get scared. You know, if enough of our people have got an imposing physique, it might make our enemies kind of a little bit afraid of just how very big and muscly they are. Do you know what? Have that. There we go. Wonderful. And that's unlocked the tier two thing. Oh, is that like a headbutt or something? Oh, crikey. Right, we're getting into sort of uh, brutal looking things there. Um, you've got a point of dexterity as well. Okay. Okay. I mean, hang on. What's that? Sleight of hand attack. That's stealing items. I mean, it sounds like quite a lot of fun. I don't think it's overly that useful. Um, spray gunshot. Okay. We are, you're going down the more sort of melee kind of route. Um, increases the damage dealt by bladed weapons by 10% or a flick sand attack. That is quite good. That is quite good. Betty's got that. I mean, that wouldn't be no bad thing for you to have that. Do you know what though? You might end up with a bladed weapon one day. So let's give that. Increase the damage dealt by bladed weapons by 10%. We'll make sure to give you a kind of, you know, a big choppy axe or something. There we go. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Right, so you lot all sort this out. Right, here we go. So, Barbara, can you just go and have a look in here at what we need to make a planter? We've got all the materials we need to make a planter. Oh, this is very good stuff. Okay, so let's get an indoor planter. I mean, if we could put it over here, that would be quite good in the space vacated by the punch bag thing. So here we go. So you get working on that. Betty has increased their fortitude, but not your dexterity, Betty. Please tell me you've increased your dexterity as well. That would be, that would be a bonus. Hang on. Where are dexterity far? Oh, she needs to do a tiny, tiny bit more running. Okay, but there we go. There we go. Okay, fine. So fortitude went up, which is, yeah, okay. But, ah, there we go. The planter is now done. Okay, so plant some seeds. Hang on. What temperature is it in here? 18 degrees. Okay, so it says there uh, we need to find something that's going to grow inside that's going to have a temperature of about 18 degrees. I see it's taken a lot of the options out, which is quite helpful. I mean, potatoes. Potatoes could be quite useful, couldn't they? Just get a load of potatoes and we can just turn them into baked potatoes. Um, yeah, grows in temperatures between 16 and 21. Or we could get some tomatoes. I don't know how long these things take to grow. The tomatoes, however, are fancy. They are very, very good quality, but 18 degrees C, if it does get a bit cold in here, they might not grow. Whereas the potatoes are 16 to 21. Do you know what? Let's get a load of spuds. Let's get a load of spuds ready. Here we go. So you go and plant those. And there we go. Look at that. The little, the little light comes on. Hang on, let's put it back to normal speed. Normal speed, please. The little light comes on. And then there we go. So how long is that going to take? The ideal temperature is 18 degrees C. I oh, know 16 to 21, the current temperature is 18. Yeah, perfect. That's absolutely perfect. And they're looking very good. Okay, right, we can get some potatoes soon, everybody. This is going to be very good indeed. Hang on. Did the... Uh, hang on, did I see it in here? Do we not need potatoes to make some sort of... Some sort of stew? Yes, a meat stew is meat. We've got six bits of that. Broccoli, got loads of that. And potatoes. Okay, so when we get those potatoes through, we can make some tier two food, everybody. Oh my goodness me. Maybe we should just keep working on that. Um, okay, Barbara, can we please get ourselves another snare trap thing up on the surface? Because they seem quite good. So another one of those. And while you're up there, can we plant, yeah, broccoli and plant some more broccoli. And surprise, surprise, guess what? It's broccoli. Should we do broccoli? Or do we do like carrots or something? 15 to 21, 5 to 21. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, broccoli. Broccoli seems quite hardy. Okay, what's that mean? Oh, it needs crafting. Oh yeah, that's fine. She's on it. She's absolutely on it game. Look at this. She's she's up there. She's building the stuff. She's doing all this. While you're up there, actually, can you do some repairs to these things? Because you're very, very good at that kind of job. And then you can come back inside. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Right, nobody's doing anything. Betty, get over here and do some exercise, please. Um where's uh, right chris you can get you can get sort of uh, exercising on the punch bag thing where is will where's will gone exactly barbara william is is that will oh no he stood ah uh, right okay he stood right next to sharon okay no that's fine <laughs> that was a bit confusing no there's will just there um 
Will, we do want to get your strength up, but come and read... Uh, actually, have you got that charisma skill? Uh, no, you have not. Go and read a charisma book, Will. Go and read a charisma book, and that'll be exciting. You can try and get your, your sort of charisma increased a little bit. There we go. I think Betty has just leveled up, which is very good. However, Betty, I am absolutely fine with you. Uh, oh, yeah, dexterity required one to five. She's got six now. So that's going to be slightly rubbish for her. She needs a slightly better bit of uh, better bit of cardio. Uh, so she's got no strength points, but she does have a dexterity point to spend. Okay, okay, right. So what shall we do with this? I mean, what's that? An aimed gunshot can make a gunshot with 15% increased accuracy. So it's a special type of attack that does take four stamina. That could be quite good. Nick Artery. A single attack dealing 100% base damage and guaranteed to cause bleeding. Must have a bladed weapon. Okay, so she's going to have more sort of firearm stuff. Or retreat attack. A single attack dealing 100% base damage. The character then switches position with the character on the back row behind them. Can only be performed when the front row, uh, when they're on the front row, and if there is a character standing behind them. That is quite good. I mean, that would have saved Bernard had we had that option and had I been aware of how to move people about. I mean, let's not talk about that. But um, I do quite like the idea of that. However, a gunshot with 15% increased accuracy. That's got to be a good thing. So yeah, we'll have a bit of that, please. Now, did she get a fortitude sort of skill thing as well? Yes, she did. She got a point in this. Um, oh, crikey. Right, there's, there's many things along here. There are many, many skills to have. Okay, right, hang on. I'm going to need to take a look at all these and see which is the best one. I think this could be quite good. Extract Poison. So it's a healing skill that we use in combat, I believe. Attempt to cure a character who is poisoned has a 50% chance of success. So that's quite good, I think. Yeah, we get a little bit of a chance at trying to stop somebody suffering from the effects of poison if they have been poisoned. So that is no bad thing. And I think Betty is probably more often than not going to be going out on all these sort of expeditions and such like. So I think you know, having her with that skill could be very useful indeed. So do you know what? Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have Betty as a sort of, you know, poison extraction expert. And there we go. So now, yeah, she can't actually go and sort of do any more training on that, which is a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a shame. So what can we get Betty doing? Uh, what are the rations looking like, actually? How are we doing for rations? 34 of those. Uh, that's sort of okay. I think we want to wait for the food to be done over here, the potatoes, before we do any more cooking. So how about, Betty, you go and just clean... There's nothing to clean. The shelter is lovely and clean. You can't train. You can't train on the sort of the books thing because somebody else is using it. You can't use that because it's now not sufficient for your needs. And you can't use that because somebody else is sort of, you know, using the punch bag. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. What we could do is, hang on, we could do with a bit more storage because that is getting a little bit close. So what do we need for that? We need uh, some nails and a hinge. Okay, I think Betty can just about muster that. Betty is quite good at that kind of stuff. So let's go for, um, where is it? So a hinge and some nails, please. There we go. We have plenty of metal shavings left to do some other bits and bobs. Yeah, okay, right, so Betty, get that done first, and now, now you can make some extra storage, just so we can keep... Oh, no, hang on, no, it wasn't one lot of nails. It was two lot of nails, Betty. Please hold the line. There we go, more nails, please. There we go, now we can make some extra storage. It's all fine, I know what's going on. There we go. Um, the only thing is, where to put this? Where on earth can we put this? And we still haven't got those doors in. Maybe we should get those doors in at some point. Um, okay. Right, this thing is this thing is big. This thing is very big, and I do not know where it can go right now. Okay, at the moment, we'll just drop it in there. That's fine. Just just put that in, get that built, increase storage capacity, all very useful indeed. Oh crikey, Williams increased charisma. People are leveling up all over the place. Right. Okay, we need to we need to go and make sure that people have got their sort of skills and such like. Okay, so there we go, that's in. So now can we just do a little bit of rearranging of the shelter? Just to move maybe that box over. That fits there quite nicely for now. Then move that over to, say, hang on, how far can we move these over? Uh, yeah, we can pop that there, that there. Oh, this, this is great. This is going to work. This is going to be fine. There we go. Like that. Um, have we got anything to collect? Oh, yes. We've got loads of stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that. A load of nails that we could have used just then. Um, oh, a load of stuff. Yes. Take all of that stuff. That is completely brilliant. Um, and now, I think... Uh, oh, Barbara's having a sleep. Do you know what, Betty? You can probably manage this. Um, those doors. What do we need? Sheets of metal and some more hinges. Oh, and some cement. Bother. Can we make cement? Oh, yes, we can. 
we can make quite a bit of cement. Let's make four lots of that then, just to make sure we can actually get those doors constructed. So we go one, two, three, and four, and then let us craft, uh, what was it? Some sheets of metal, but we now have loads of metal shavings. So that's gonna be fine. So do, I don't know, four lots of that, and then some hinges as well, wasn't it? So I don't know, do three lots of hinges. And then we should be able to put those doors in because we've been saying we're going to put those doors in for absolutely ages. Um, somebody in the comments did say, could you not move the doors? Could you not reposition those doors to go in the middle? So you kind of have a central column of doors and that's kind of it. So you don't sort of use up two lots of sort of, you know, two squares on each row of the bunker for doors. But unfortunately, yeah, you can't move those doors. I think they're kind of fixed in position on this side. I can't move them. So I do want some on this side just to make things a little bit easier for people to move about the place. So it might take up a bit more room, but it's fine, it's fine. We can cram everything in, it's all good. Okay, Betty, over to here then, please. And there we go. We can now make, I think, we can certainly do one stairwell. We can't do two because we need, what do we need? Another hinge. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. This is all good, it's all organized. I sort of know what's happening. Yeah, more hinges, please. Betty, get that done. And then over here, doors, doors just there hooray we're gonna put the doors in at long last oh hang on there's somebody here now this could be very good jason uh um hi are you accepting new recruits i'm hard working and no trouble oh dear jason i mean we are looking for some new people but you seem to be pretty pretty rubbish on your stats there strength one dexterity one intelligence one it's not looking good so far it's not looking good on the old sort of cv resume type thing charisma two perception three fortitude too. Okay, okay. I mean, there is a vacancy. There is a vacancy. There are some huge, gigantic shoes to fill. Um, Jason, I don't know if you're necessarily the person, but you know, we'll have a chat about tea anyway, Jason. Oh, dearie me. Right, so the news is that Jason will not be joining us. During our little chat there, he did call tea leaf juice. He called it leaf juice. I mean, that's a terrible thing. So he's not joining. And also he did then say that he preferred coffee, which we then call bean juice. And he didn't like that either. So I'm afraid, Jason, it's a no from us. Good luck in your travels and such like. Please don't vandalize any of our stuff as you go around the place. But uh, there we go. Right. So, yeah, we do need a new person, but I don't think Jason was the one for us right there. So here we go. You go and harvest that. And it looks like he is just leaving. He's not going to vandalize anything. He's not going to smash anything apart. So there we go. He's on his way out nice and peacefully, which is wonderful. Oh, and that's very good. So we just collected the snare trap contents there. Oh, no, there's another rabbit going to go into it. Don't look. It's all a bit grim. Uh, but yes, when we did, we then sort of unlocked this faction goal thing here. Animal skinning. Harvested traps. Provide extra resources, which is very good. And I think I just heard a bit of a telltale kind of snap noise. There we go. Right. So another rabbit stuck in the uh, trap there. So what does this do for us? Uh, so yeah, we've got three bits of meat. So three bits of meat, a fairly high quality bit of bone and some animal fat as well. Wonderful. Um, how are these looking? They're looking a bit moist. Oh, hang on. There's somebody there. Joanne. Oh, hello, Joanne. How are you? In fact, you know what? We want, uh, we want Betty to do the trading because she is quite charismatic and good at this kind of thing. So, okay, what do you have? Oh, you have all the stuff that we like. You have stuff that we can throw into the recycler. Uh, okay. Right, let's have a quick look at what we can get from Joanne, because this is all good stuff. I mean, you're immediately like scrap piles and burned clothes and all this wonderful stuff. So, okay, okay, right. We're going to have to sort of see what we want and then see what we have of equivalent trade value. Okay, it's the weirdest mix of things. I think we might be trading away. It's a very sort of eclectic mix, but here we go. So we're going to trade away some lovely duct tape. Uh, woo! But only one bit. I mean, it's quite fancy. It's three-star duct tape, but I think we can make some more. So that is worth 44 in trade. Then we're gonna get rid of some shotgun shells. We don't need those. One very, very fancy lens. I think we made that ourselves. So yeah, we can get that back. Some of that coal that we picked up specifically for just you know trading purposes, that's quite good. And then we've picked up a load of oak bark. So it is a crafting ingredient, although we've not found what we can use it for yet. So right now it is kind of you know, a completely pointless thing. So we're getting rid of some of that. We still do have some you know, in reserve anyway, so that's fine. And then we're just picking up a load of junk just a load of junk items that we can throw into the recycler and then get some more stuff out of them. So you know, it's all going to be very useful indeed. So we're not quite at 100%, 94%, but there we go. Joanne said, yes, that is all very good. So immediately let's get down here to the recycler and let's chuck some stuff into it. Let's get this going now. So a couple of laptops. I mean, look at that. 12 transistors, we've got circuit boards, we've got wiring, it's all very good. We'll get rid of those sort of clothing, sort of uh, burnt clothes. That gets us loads of material, 
which we can use to make some more camo vest kind of things. Uh, what else can we recycle? Right, that TV, that radio. What else do we pick up? Right, the popped yoga ball thing and three of the pans. I mean, we like that. The pans equal metal shavings and metal shavings we can turn into other metal things. Uh, one lot of the scrap, that's very good. And a microwave. I think that's it. I think they are all the things that we can recycle and that's precisely the sort of amount of storage that the recycler can handle. Okay, that's very good. We're going to get so much stuff out of this. Um, yeah, okay, right, commence recycling. Okay, Betty's finished working on that door over there. Now, currently that door is completely pointless because it will go entirely nowhere at all. However, I think we have the materials to get this door done down here as well. This is very exciting stuff. We've been saying we're going to get those doors done for absolutely ages, and here we are. So, drop that door in, like... Uh, hang on, do we need to zoom out? Come on, game. Come on, game. Let us put... Let us put the door in, game. Oh, is the fan in the way? I think the fan is in the way. Right, hang on a second, hang on. We must be able to rejig things over here ever so slightly. This is gonna be, this is gonna be fine, fine margins. Okay, so rearrange the shelter. Right, let's put that, uh, oh, there's nowhere for anything to go. Let's put that there for now, that's fine. And then we move that over as far as that can go. So how near can that get to the edge? It can get to, Right there, okay, and then the fan, how near can the fan get to that thing? Oh, the fan can get right up to that, okay, that's there. And then bring the little sort of pantry shelf thing back. How near can that get to the side? It's, oh, I think it's just gonna be over. Why does that need to be that far away? That's a bit daft, isn't it? I think that's gonna be ever so slightly in the way. Oh, that's really, that's very frustrating. That's very frustrating. Um, Okay. Okay, what can we do with this? So either we move that wall over, we put another partition wall here and make this our sort of, our cool room, but that will require some rejigging of this over here. Or, oh, I don't know, or we just get rid of this pantry? I don't really want to get rid of a pantry. Um, yeah, because that would be bad. That would be bad. Hang on, hang on, it says there, in the small pantry, food degradation rate is 7% per day. If we move that, can we see what it's like if we put it over here? So rearrange shelter, put that just there. Okay, that's fine. What is that? 43% per day. Okay, right, yes, we definitely want to put the food over here. Um, I think, I think we might have to build another partition wall. We can't move that wall, can we? Uh, hang on, rearrange the shelter. Uh, no, we can, we can click on the object, but we can't move it around, I don't think. Yeah, like, uh, well, no, we can pick that up and move it. Can we pick that? We can't pick up the, we can't move the partition wall. I mean, that's no great surprise. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, fine. We're gonna have to, oh, I think, I'm, oh no, we can. We can move the partition wall. We just can't put it where we want it to go because now there's something else in the way. Okay, right, hang on. This is fine, this is fine. We can make this work, it's all good. Right, let's let, um, let's let Barbara finish her food first because I feel a bit bad for Barbara. So there we go, Barbara's finished. We're gonna make this work. Okay, here we go. So move that to there. Doesn't matter where that goes. Pick that up. Oh no, hang on. Pick that up. Put that there. How do we just move a partition wall around so easily? How does that happen? I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then we have loads of room over here for this thing. So pop that just there. And then that can go just there. And the fan can go there. And that means as well, we have more room over here for more things, for more sort of you know, food storage stuff. The only thing is, where are we gonna put the table and chairs for now? I'm not entirely sure where they can go. Um, yeah. Okay, right, hang on a second. No, this is this is still all fine, it's still all fine. What we need Barbara to do now, here we go, it's a long-term plan. Um, let's craft another bit of bunker. Can we make a slightly nicer bit? A stone room, three cement and three limestone, which we have. So maybe let's start making some stone rooms. I think we can upgrade existing rooms to stone rooms. Yeah, I mean, maybe we do a bit of a project of that. But yeah, let's get ourselves a stone room down there. So Barbara, here we go. This is so complicated. This is so complicated to get some stairs in, but okay. And do you know what? Whilst this is underway, Betty, one thing we could do, is it worth, if we're gonna go and have a fight with the church, is it not worth contacting some of the other factions around? And even if they are a little bit scary, maybe trying to get on their good side. So if we have to, we can call on them for a bit of support at some point. So how about we go and contact some factions? 
Okay, well, here we go. So all the factions you meet can be contacted here on the radio. Okay, we click on them. We can request jobs to boost your reputation, arrange trades, and eventually become trusted enough to give you special quests. Yeah, that's kind of what we want. We want to get to that level. We want to be nice and sort of, you know, nice and friendly with our neighbours around the place, even if they are a little bit kind of creepy looking. So the Church of Hope, they are not going to like us at all. Look at that. Minus 50 reputation. Um, Los Muertos. Let's go and have a chat with them. I mean, CTK mob, we could have a word with them, although they were a little bit kind of scary. They were a little bit more unhinged than Los Muertos, even though Los Muertos do have a big skull on their flag and skulls on their faces. Let's have a word with them. So, okay, so Gabriela Montero says, what is it? We're a bit busy right now. Um, okay, what about jobs? What can we do here? This faction is desperately in need of the following resources. Oh, oh, we can do that. We can do that very easily. We have five circuit breakers. We can give you those. I don't know quite how hard they are to come by, but you can have them. Uh, three pipes. Yeah, do you know what? Let's do that. Let's sort this out, and that might help them out. And then there's a rescue mission as well. A rescue operation to liberate a captured member of this faction. Locate them and defeat their captors to release them. Okay. Let's do this one first. Let's get that done. So, okay, accept that job. Hit us up as soon as you've got the goods, and we'll come and collect. Oh, they come and pick up the goods. That's quite good. Don't keep us waiting. Okay, three pipes. That's all we need. Three pipes. We can do that. We can do that. Right, Betty, do you know what? Even you can go and do this. Uh, yeah, there you go. One, two, three pipes. All very good. Go and get that done. And then we'll turn that in and we'll see what happens. Right, is anybody not doing anything? Uh, Will, you're not doing anything. Uh, did you increase your strength? Your strength is still on five, but Chappie there is having a go. Oh, no, not Chappie. Sorry, Sharon. I thought that was, um, I thought that was Chris. But no, Sharon is having a go on the punching bag. Okay, so you're going to have to wait for a while. How about while you wait, go and read a charisma book. Why not? That sounds like a fun thing to do. Right, Betty has completed that. So now go to the faction. Go and have a word with them again. What is it? So job. Oh, there we go. Right, yeah. So we've got the two things they need. We've got the pipes and the circuit breakers. So, okay. There we go. Yo, you've got the stuff ready. That's good to hear. I'm sending one of my crew over straight away. This better not be a trap or you will regret it. No, no. No, not a trap. Absolutely. We have the stuff you need. Right, that room is now done. Here we go. The grand reorganisation can continue. So, table and chairs down there. Wall, no, table and chairs down there. Table and chairs down there. Why can I not put the table and chairs down here? Okay, this is interesting. I think I might have encountered a bug in the game. So I can move other objects. So I moved our planter and I moved the little sort of cooking stove thing. But I can't move the table and chairs. The table and chairs, which you would think would be readily movable because, you know, you can move tables and chairs around. In fact, chairs generally do move. They move in and out underneath the table, sort of normally. Um, I can't move it. I can't place it. So other stuff is fine. Other stuff we can say, yes, table and chairs, we can't do anything with. So we might have to deconstruct the table and chairs and then rebuild them at some later point. But yeah, right now we don't want to do that. Yeah, we can move those things, but just not the table and chair. For whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't know why we can't move them. I suspect it's a bit of a bug. Um, okay, right. Hang on a minute then. So, uh, Barbara, you're good at taking things apart. This seems a little bit of a waste, but I want this all sorted out. So you go and deconstruct that. That's going to be wonderful. So take this apart. And I think even when we deconstruct things, it does go toward our sort of our faction goal thing. No items collected. But there we go. There we go. We've completed a faction goal. Fast dismantling. Increase the speed at which characters deconstruct objects. Well, that will be supremely helpful, won't it? Okay. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Right, so now we should be able to move that to there. Wonderful stuff. And then we can bring the food to the little pantry back in. In fact, let's put the big pantry by the door, the fan in the middle, and then that just there. Okay, right. Happy with that. And now... Barbara, because Betty, what's Betty doing now? Betty is, oh, she's walking into an AI job. Do you know what though? Barbara, you can get on with this. In fact, you're very hungry, Barbara. Betty, you're good at building stuff anyway. So you craft the next set of stairs. And no, we need some, we need some cement. I think we used our cement in making the fancy room. No, don't worry, everybody. We can make our own cement. This is, <laughs> this is, this is a very disorganized way of doing things, but it's fine. We're going to get it done. Right, stairs. They can go there. Hooray! Right, okay. <laughs> we can get the stairs in. Finally. Okay, and the temperature in that room is coming down again, which is wonderful. 3.8, 3.7, 3.6. Okay, so that room is nice and chilly. Oh, hang on. I think they need a spot of water as well. Right, so go and water those. Water's looking a bit low. 
we do have black rain incoming, which does not sound brilliant, let's be honest. So hopefully that's not going to be too bad. Um, we do have some things up on the surface that are kind of falling apart. Um, oh yeah, the oxygen filter is looking a little bit kind of flaky. Can we send some people up to the surface really, really soon to repair those things before the black rain arrives and they just completely fall apart, particularly the oxygen filter? Christopher, come on then, Christopher. It is your job. You have a very, very important task. Let's go and get that sorted. That's going to be very good. We also should be expecting a person from Los Muertos to be coming over, shouldn't we? and picking up those things we made for them. Some of the plants are ready to harvest. Oh no, oh hang on, that could be them. Um, oh no, it means these. It means these plants here. Okay, so our potatoes are ready to harvest. Oh, this is very good. And my goodness, that is a lot of potatoes. Okay, right, so now we have an awful lot of potatoes. Hang on a second, hang on, Barbara. Uh, hang on, tier two, we can now make, oh my goodness me, we can make, 10 lots of meat stew. Oh, that's wonderful. And we can make a little bit more if we have some more broccoli, which is growing up on the surface. Oh yeah, you go and do that. Um, Sharon, you might need to go, although is black rain good for the plants? I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure how that's all sort of going to work. Um, do you know what? It's fine. Sharon, go and repair that thing instead. Keep yourself busy with some repairs. Okay, somebody is at the intercom. Hello there, person at the intercom. I'm here to collect for Los Muertos. Hand it over now. Please. Come on, Paul. Mind your manners. Where's your P's and Q's? Um, yeah, okay. Continue. And yeah, give items. So I guess what you could do is, if you wanted to, you could sort of lure them over and then, you know, kill them or whatever. But no, we want to be in their good book. So, okay give you the items. Everything seems to be good here. The boss would like this a lot. Looks like we might be able to trust you after all. We're nice. We're nice people. Here, have this tea as you go. Have a lovely cup of tea as you depart. Plus 30 reputation for Los Muertos. Okay, that's pretty good. That is pretty good going. Okay, right. Very happy with that. Okay, so we've got Barbara doing lots and lots of lovely cooking. Right, Barbara, can we go over to here? What other things can we make? We could do with making another bag because I think we lost one of our bags, didn't we? Because um, cause Bernard sort of, you know, had it with him. And for some reason, we didn't pick up his stuff. So a bag would be handy. Um, oh, yeah, and some binoculars would be useful as well. Uh, right now, go and make a bag. That'll be handy. And then, actually, what do we need to actually make the binoculars? You could then start crafting some other stuff. So a pipe and a hinge. Yeah, okay. So when you've done that, then go into here, craft yourself uh, one pipe and uh, one hinge, please, if you would be so kind. Okay, that's that done. And now with the pipe and the hinge, combine that with a couple of lenses and let's make ourselves some more binoculars because that is also going to be very handy indeed when we go a wandering. Okay, happy with that. Did we put some stuff in here? Yes, we did. The recycler has many, many wonderful things for us. Okay, this is very good. Uh, right, okay, so pick that up. How are we doing up on the surface? I kind of want you to get back in, Chris, quite quickly because I kind of feel like Black rain is going to be bad. Uh, oh, right. Very quickly, go and harvest that trap whilst you're there, because otherwise that might go a bit horrible. Oh, look at that. We've got loads of stuff out of that. Okay, that's all very good. I mean, is it worth watering these or not? Their health is coming down a bit, but how long is it going to be until it rains? I do not know. I'm not entirely sure. Um, also, uh, Chris, come back in, because I think the black rain might possibly be a bad thing if you're caught in it. So come down here and repair this bed, and we'll is having a go on the punch bag, which is brilliant. Okay, right, hang on a second, hang on. So put time down to normal. So yeah, he's gonna start increasing his strength, which is good. Um, and Chris has got up to strength six. So Chris can actually use the, um, can use the baseball bats, which is wonderful stuff. Okay, so we've got Betty, who can use a gun now. We've got Chris, who can use a baseball bat. Then we're gonna have Will, at some point, very soon, hopefully, he'll be able to use a baseball bat. So we're you know, training people up. We are getting there slowly but surely. People are you know, being able to use slightly better things, which is all very, very good indeed. Um, okay, I mean, do we have, do we want to sort of craft anything in terms of defense? So, you know, these things here, do we want to make ourselves some, I don't know, bulletproof vests or stab-proof vests or whatever? I mean, a stab-proof vest or two, that would not be a bad thing. We can make a couple of those. We can only make two of them. But I guess if we give those to the people that are in the front of our sort of combat row, so yeah, standing on the front tier of combat, that would help them out because they're the ones that are going to get sort of, you know, bopped in the nose or whatever. So maybe a couple of improved stab-proof vests would not be a bad thing. Do you know what? Let's get two of those made. 
Barbara. You go and do that, please. You're very good at doing all the crafting stuff. So this is good. We're getting ready. We're getting ready for a fight. Also, go and repair the water purifier because we need that. Yeah, we need that to distribute tea around the place. Very important. And there you go. Will has increased his strength. Also, he gets another skill thing, doesn't he? He's got two to spend. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay. Here we go. So we were using him as a little bit of a tester, weren't we? To see how many skill points you need in tier one to unlock tier two. So he's got four now. So what if we give him, what's that? No, we don't want to do that. I quite like the idea of this. I like the idea of him carrying some more stuff around because you know, more resources is good. So let's get a point in that. And that has unlocked the middle tier, so it's five. So you need five points spent in tier one to unlock tier two. Okay, so we have one point left. So where should that go? I quite like the idea of this. Let's get Will doing some kicking. Let's make him into a sort of, you know, martial art type person. So it's an attack skill which targets either arms or legs, dealing 200% base damage, and it has a 50% chance of breaking the targeted limb. I think that sounds very good. So yeah, we'll take that. And what's the next one? So it deals a bit more damage and increases the chance of breaking that limb. Yeah, I think that sounds very good indeed. Do you know what? Let's go through and just make sure that everyone has spent all their skill points because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few of them around the place that haven't been spent yet. There we go. William himself had a charisma point to spend. So let's put that into inspiring because he's got one point in that. We might as well get that up to two. And yeah, he needs another couple of points in charisma before we can then get the mission of mercy skill, which is kind of what we want everybody to have. Okay, Sharon has a strength point to spend. So let's give Sharon an imposing physique. I like that. So, you know, the enemy might might be a little bit scared by Sharon's rippling biceps or whatever. Okay, Chris also has a strength point. I think maybe we continue working on this with Chris. So Chris has blunt force specialization. So he has damage increased by blunt weapons by 10%. Let's get that up to 20% and we'll make sure that he does have a blunt weapon, which at the moment he is going to have. He's going to have a baseball bat. So there you go. We'll buy that upgrade for you, Chris. I don't think you have anything else. Okay, Betty has an intelligence point to spend. So let's give Betty the putting on a brave face skill. I like that. So she is going to be immune to injury mood modifier. So even if she is a bit injured, she's just not going to show it at all. So there we go. You can have that. Okay, we have black rain up on the surface. Uh, I mean, that looks green to me, but okay. It looks very unpleasant, whatever it is. Also, it is not coming through the water filter. So it is not helping out with our water problem. Our water's looking a little bit low. I mean, this has arrived quite late in the day. So that's quite good. I imagine going out in that is going to be bad. So let's not send anybody outside in that. It has watered the broccoli, which is quite good. Although I don't know if we want to eat broccoli that's been watered with, I assume it's radioactive. I guess it's like radioactive rain or whatever. But there we go. There we go. So that is helping out a little bit. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to finish up for now, but next time we're going to take the fight to the church. We've got people that can use a gun now. We've got a couple of people that can use baseball bats. I think next time we go and have a fight with the Church of Hope and see how they deal with four very, very angry people indeed. Because yeah, we can take the fight to them and see what happens there. I mean, I think we'll target, I don't know, do we go to one of the outposts and target an outpost? I think that's kind of how it works. Because we strolled into their outpost once, didn't we? Went, oh, hello there, how are you? I think we go and sort of fight them at their outpost. And maybe that, I don't know, that rip sort of removes them from that area or whatever. Maybe they're not allowed to control that particular bit of territory anymore. I do not know. But you know what? It's fine. We'll have a look at all that kind of stuff next time out because we will finish up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Sheltered 2. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This is going to end badly. This is going to end badly, I suspect. <laughs> <laughs> my god it's pingu so uh yeah i don't i don't know how to put the engine bit i feel that might be a problem in making a car <laughs> i've broken the windscreen <laughs> it's, en it's ending badly it's ending very badly indeed i might crash into a tree how do i do any of the stuff with this car